Greetings from Dr. Peter McLuhan, your host for another adventure in the life Jesus modeled. Our topic today is healing leprosy. Leprosy was one of the most dreaded diseases during the days of the New Testament. Even in our own times, people are contracting leprosy. It can be halted, but it cannot be reversed by medical treatment. Today it is referred to as Hansen's disease. Leprosy is an attack on the nervous system, often resulting in a person not being able to feel pain. This usually leads to the loss of fingers and toes uh, because of unintended injuries. Many have seriously impaired vision. Not since the days of Elijah had anyone been cured of leprosy. A servant girl of Naaman, a Syrian general, believed that if he visited Elisha, he would be healed of leprosy. The remarkable story of his healing is found in 2 Kings chapter 5. According to historians, it had been 700 years since anyone had been healed of leprosy. Jesus confirmed this was true when he said in the town of Nazareth in Luke chapter 4 and verse 27, there were many lepers in Israel in the time of the prophet Elisha. None of them was cleansed, but only Nahum the Syrian. There were many religious rules about leprosy that people were required to follow. Lepers were required to cry out that they were unclean and to warn people to stay away. On a calm day, lepers were required to stay at least six feet away from healthy people. On a windy day, lepers were required to stay 150 feet and downwind from people. There was no hope for lepers at all. That is until one brave leper, without help from anyone, ventured out of his cave in search of Jesus. Somehow he must have heard that Jesus was healing people. Luke tells us that while Jesus was in one of the cities, there came a man full of leprosy, Luke chapter 5 and verse 12. The phrase full of leprosy lets us know that the man was in an advanced and final stages of the diseases. Some translation and say he was covered with leprosy. His body was covered with sores, and without a doubt he had lost fingers and toes. He was in a pitiful condition. It was just a matter of time before he would die from this disease. Luke tells us, when he saw Jesus, he fell on his face, and he begged him, Lord, if you will, you can make me clean, Luke chapter 5 and verse 12. Jesus stretched out his hand and touched him, saying, I will be clean, Luke chapter 5 and verse 13. With four words, Jesus changed the man's life and destiny. In the past, when I read this story, I used to say to myself, what a lucky man this leper was. Over time, I've come to understand the story in a much deeper way. Jesus was speaking to more than this man when he declared that it was the Father's will about leprosy, especially about diseases that are thought to be incurable. I open your eyes to see and to believe that Jesus is willing to heal your disease. The Bible says the reason the Son of Man appeared was to destroy the works of the devil. That's found in 1 John chapter 3 and verse 8. And there's nothing more devilish than incurable diseases, especially in the lives of young children. If you have an incurable disease, we're going to pray for your healing today. Notice what else Luke said. And immediately the leprosy left him. Immediately means immediately. All the sores on his skin vanished and his skin looked completely normal. His nose and his earlobes grew back. Fingers and toes were no longer stumps. They were brand new and working perfectly. His eyesight was restored to perfect vision and his hearing was perfect as well. 
this man could not contain his joy. And while Jesus was happy for the man, he wanted the man to have more than physical health. He wanted him to be restored to his family and to his friends. He wanted him to have social health. That meant he needed to go to Jerusalem to be inspected by a priest to prove that he no longer had any signs of leprosy anywhere on his body. Luke tells us, Go and show yourself to the priest and make an offering for your cleansing as Moses commanded you for a proof to them. Luke chapter 5 and verse 14. Jesus wanted the priests in Jerusalem to know that he has power to heal leprosy. Jesus wanted them to have proof positive of his power to heal leprosy. Miraculous healings have led many doctors and professionals to believe that Jesus is real and has power to heal. Luke says after this, the report about him went abroad and great crowds gathered to hear him and to be healed of their infirmities. Luke chapter 5 and verse 15. Many incurable diseases have spirits of infirmity associated with them. God does not give people diseases, but he does heal people with diseases to prove his power, and he breaks those spirits of infirmity off of people. A friend of mine was invited to the home of a lady who had been sent uh, back to her house with an incurable disease uh, to die with her family. She had been placed on hospice care, and the care worker said, just go enjoy your family in the closing uh, days of your life. Then early one morning, the family members heard and smelt that cooking was going on. They rushed into the kitchen to see what was happening. To their surprise, Mama was cooking and as happy as could be. And when they asked her what happened, she said, Jesus visited me last night and healed me. That family belonged to another religion. And my friend had been invited to the home to video the story of how they discovered that Jesus was willing to heal their mother. If you are raised in another faith and have a terminal disease, ask Jesus to visit you and to heal you like he did this precious lady. Now, leprosy is not an eradicated disease. Uh, a WHO report, January of 30, 2021, the ambassador for the elimination of leprosy said about 200,000 new cases of leprosy are diagnosed every year. What a tragic situation that is. Leprosy is symbolic of a multitude of incurable diseases. And the top incurable international diseases currently are malaria, HIV, AIDS, cholera, polio, Ebola, and of course the coronavirus. Uh, some of the top Western diseases are terminal cancers, ALS, MS, COPD, lupus, diabetes, coronary disease, and of course coronavirus. And we want to pray about all of those diseases today and ask Jesus to release a great wave of healing in your life. Would you notice how Jesus healed this man? He felt compassion. He stretched out his hand. He touched the man and he pronounced him clean. Be clean. I am willing. Be clean, Jesus said. Next week, we'll continue studying the life Jesus modeled. But before I leave you today, I want to take a few moments and pray for you. If you've been diagnosed with an incurable or a terminal disease, we want to ask God to heal you right now. Pastor Margaret and I prayed for a lady who was diagnosed with fourth stage cancer. She caught on fire as we prayed. She said, my body is burning. And as that burning began to consume her, it clearly consumed the cancer. And when she went back to see a doctor, she, all she had left was just a few uh, legions. God was so good to that lady and she was healed. And so we want to speak down that fire into your life right now 
the healing presence of the Holy Spirit. We come against all terminal cancers in Jesus' name. Uh, whatever stage the doctor has put you in, we want to call that off of you today in the name of Jesus. Release healing into your life. We uh, release healing over breast cancer, healing over, over brain cancer, healing over organ cancer, healing over colon cancer, healing over the liver, he uh, healing over pancreas, healing over all of the vital organs that are suspect to having cancer. You have cancer in your bones, cancer in your blood. We come against it in the name of Jesus. If you have ALS, we come against that in the name of Jesus and say, rise up and walk, muscles be strengthened and return to your normal health. You have MS. I saw a testimony just recently of a lady who was healed from MS. She was up dancing and rejoicing. If you're having trouble with your lungs right now, breathing, COPD or any of these other kinds of diseases we release to you a healing touch right now uh, from Jesus. Feel his presence coming upon you, touching you. Lupus, go in Jesus' name. Bi diabetes, go in Jesus' name. Coronary disease, go in Jesus' name. We release to you a healing of these crippling diseases. For our friends living internationally, we pray especially against malaria, HIV, and AIDS cholera and polio and Ebola, these uh, enterovirus, these diseases that are so paralyzing people uh, across so many parts of the remote world. We speak today healing in uh, Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for the blessing of praying for people. Thank you, Jesus, that you had pity and compassion on a man who had leprosy, a man who was full of leprosy, Whatever end stage you are in your disease, we release to you the hope that was released to that man. In Jesus' name, I speak cleansing to your body. I break all afflicting spirits that are affecting your body off of you and declare you well in Jesus' name. Next week, we'll continue to study the life Jesus modeled. We hope this message has filled you with living hope in Jesus. If you would like to talk with someone about your spiritual journey, please leave a comment or send us a private message. We enjoy reading your notes and having an opportunity to pray with you. If you received a blessing through this message, please share it with others. We invite you to become a Living Hope Partner by donating as little as $1 a month through our QR code. Your gifts will help us create new messages and reach more people. Living Hope is a ministry of Ingleside International Incorporated. All donations to Living Hope qualify as a charitable contribution. Thank you for your prayers and support. Next week, we will continue learning together from the Word of God. God bless you and fill you with living hope.